Hi there, my name is Maria Oreska and I am responsible for product development at Infinity. This Technical Tuesday video is going to be super cool and super innovative because I'll show you how to integrate Infinity Forms with Click Application Automation. So the whole new world of triggered workflows, RPAs, automations, whatever you can imagine is here and I'll show you how to get there. So what you see on my screen is a demo application with Infinity Forms object here, containing some data coming from a data model, information about a sales team related measures, as well as manual inputs. So I can enter here suggested bonus. Also, there can be an approval field and I can enter some note. When I click the save button, manual inputs are stored in a data storage. For Infinity Forms SAS, the default data storage is XML file on Infinity Server. In the properties panel, in the form configuration section, I can find its unique identifier. It's what we call form instance ID. So this is exactly what specifies where the data is stored. When I go to uh, the Infinity portal for Infinity Forms SaaS management, I have here the overview of all the data storage is created for this specific tenant. And as I mentioned, form instance ID is what is defined in the properties panel. So this is the one. There is data size zero because it wasn't refreshed. And now, yeah, it's actually containing my newly added manual input. That was quick intro. Let's go to click application automation. This is a new one where I'll add the next step that loads the content of the Infinity Forms data storage. So my manual inputs will be loaded. The way how it's currently done is that you need to call a URL. So there is a block called URL. I'll drag and drop it here. And to read the content of Infinity Forms, it's quite simple because you just need to call the right URL. <laughs> it's https forms.infinity.app slash. Now I'm going to paste here this unique identifier of my data storage. So the form instance ID slash JSON. The only other thing I need to do is add header and that's authorization with value bearer and uh, the API token is available here under the settings of the particular data storage when you click on create API token button. So now I'll just copy and paste this one. And that's it. This is my input. So I just defined the URL and authorization header. And in the output, I have my manual inputs. The structure is following. It starts with underscore key. That's always there. Infinity Forms SAS stores your key as underscore key. And it combines all key dimensions. Then there are metadata about a specific row and manual inputs. In this case, node bonus and approval. The very same thing for Carl. <laughs> and Anthony. Let me show you uh, that key very quickly. So in this case, the key is generated as combination of ID, person, and the base region. I have here um, this check whether or not it's a key dimension. All key dimensions are combined into a one key that's called underscore key in Infinity Forms SAS. So, this is how easy it is to 
load manual inputs into the click application automation. Now, based on the manual inputs, like for example, approval or the bonus, some specific tasks can be automated, like you can send money to that person. <laughs> In Infinity Forms SAS, not only the get method for reading data is supported, but also post method. And this one stores data in a data storage. So yeah, you can combine manual inputs in Infinity Forms with automatically generated or pre-filled data. Well, let me start with the application so you see what it's done. And then we will deep dive into the QA. On this sheet, I have this editable table, Infinity Forms, containing data about product, stores, sales, profit, alongside with manual inputs to define action as well as its priority and responsible person. So I can make some selections. And define the action. When I click the save button, naturally, my manual inputs are saved in a data storage. But also another task will be triggered. In this case, as you will see, I will be notified about the changes. Just like that, in a second, I received the notification containing all details about new action. The product, store, responsible person, action, it's all here. And it's done thanks to the click application automation. This is it. This is the click application automation triggering the processes based on my manual inputs saved directly in the click sense SaaS application via Infinity Forms. It starts by start block <laughs> followed by call URL. Again, this is the very same logic as uh, you saw before. So we use get method to read the whole content of this form instance ID. Authorization is based on the bearer. This is the output. So here is the list of my manual inputs that goes through the path up to this condition. Here, the QA goes through all the actions one by one and identifies those which haven't been processed yet. Because you don't want to notify people every single time someone hits the save button about the very same action, right? So we select only those where processed is not yes. And the result is this transform list. So this is the list containing only those actions that have been newly added. It contains all the data alongside with a new field with a predefined field processed that's always yes. And this is the data set we want to store in Infinity Forms right after this action is processed. So if there is at least one action to be processed, that's this condition, it goes this way. Here, you can define a block that stores the data in the CRM system, creates a new order somewhere. You can connect to ServiceNow, Zoho, Jira, and so on. All the power of the click application automation. And then the data about new actions being processed in, is stored in Infinity Forms. The logic is the very same. So you need to use the block call URL forms.infinityapp.eu form instance id slash json slash submit method is post because we want to store data authorization is based on bearer and the data i want to store in infinity forms is defined in the parameters section as you see you can refer to transform list you don't need to do any transformations here that's how Infinity Forms is click native. It's native even in the click application automation. And then we send the notification to Slack. And here, as you can see, this is 
the field processed. And since the last entity who did the change to this very specific key, the combination of product name and store, was click application automation, I see it here in the changed by, I see it in metadata. The last thing I want to show you is how easy it is to connect this click application automation to the infinity forms in a click app. So here, when you open the block start, you need to select run mode triggered. And here you can find the URL that triggers this click application automation. In the properties panel, you really don't need to go anywhere else. In the properties panel of the infinity forms object under advanced settings, you find this button rest settings. And when you go to the tab save, you just paste the URL here. It's that simple. I'm indeed a really big fan of click application automation. That's probably uh, quite visible right now. <laughs> so please share any thoughts, any ideas with me, how you want to use the combination of infinity forms and click application automation or some thoughts on the edit value it might bring. The combo of human interaction and automated processes, that's the real world. Thank you for watching this video. And until the next one, enjoy SaaS, enjoy Click, enjoy QAA, enjoy Forums. <laughs>